Hello and welcome to a new video of Explore Bio on Research and Publishing. This video is going to be very very important and super helpful for those who write research paper or review or thesis. It will save you a lot of time and energy. One of the most time consuming and frustrating thing is managing and formatting references manually. I have received several comments on this topic so I am making a video on it. If you also have suggestions, do comment or email me at explorebio at yahoo.com. Therefore, in today's video, I will tell you why you should not format your references manually and a very simple and easy way to automatically manage and format references. I will tell you which reference manager I personally use and why it is my personal favorite. I will tell you about an easy to use and completely free software. Through a video tutorial, I will explain how to download and install the software how to add its plugin to Microsoft Word, how to cite a reference through it, and how to add bibliography. You will also learn how to automatically format the references according to the journal style. I have tried to make this tutorial as simple as possible for the beginners. So let's begin. When you are about to submit a research paper to a journal or a thesis, they ask you to properly format the references, else they will not accept it for reviewing. I have seen many students who manually add and format each and every reference. And it is very troublesome as well as time consuming to check the names, full stops and commas. And most often they end up with mistakes. Another major problem is that when your paper gets rejected and you submit it to another journal, they may ask for a different formatting style. And it is very frustrating to repeatedly format the references according to the journal type. To avoid this problem, I suggest you to use a reference manager. The reference manager I use for submission of my research papers is Mendeley. It is a free to use and easy to operate and has options for formatting references according to the most of the journal types. Just a little disclaimer that this is not a sponsored video and you may use any other reference manager but I am just telling you what I found the best. So first let's see how to download the Mendeley's desktop. Open the web browser and search for Mendeley desktop. When you scroll down to the second or the third link you will find a link to download the software. Click on that. You will see here a button download the Mendeley desktop for Windows. Your download should begin and will be completed soon depending upon the speed of the internet. So the download is complete and click on the exe file. Your installation should begin. Proceed with the installation. Click run and finish to complete the installation. A window will pop up and ask you for your login details. If you already have an account, fill in the details, else you can click on the register button. When you click on the register button, it will take you to the Elsevier site. It is because Elsevier has brought Mendeley in 2013. Fill in your email ID, name and password. The password should meet the required criteria, then click on register. Once the registration is complete, you can head towards signing into the Mendeley account. Click on the Mendeley desktop and fill in the signing details. So this is the Mendeley desktop and this is now ready to prepare a library of research paper. Now let's open a research paper. In this paragraph you can see that I have added three references manually. To automatically format the references, click on the references button. But here you can see that there is no Mendeley option available. 
So we need to install the Mendeley plugin. For this, open the Mendeley desktop, click on the tools and install the MS Word plugins. If any Word file is open, it will prompt you to close that. Now reopen the research paper, click on the references and now you are able to see the Mendeley option. To automatically format the references through Mendeley, you first need to have a library of references. For this, you need to have a list of research publications including the author name, title of the paper, publishing year and copy this to the Google Scholar. Once you find the paper, click on the side button. You can see some of the already formatted references style. But I recommend you to download the refman file. Do this for all the research papers. Once this is done, you can open the Mendeley desktop and add all the files to it. So now your Mendeley library is ready. Not only this, but you can also add a PDF file of a research paper you already have. Just click on the add button and add the PDF file. Once the library is ready, you can delete the manually added references from below. At the citation area, you click on the insert citation and type in the name of the author or the publication year or both. Similarly, you can do this with the multiple citations. So once you have inserted the citation through Mendeley, you can delete the manually added citations. To add the references automatically, click here and insert bibliography. You can see the references which are already formatted appears here. You can change the formatting style of the references. You just need to select the formatting style and everything will be automatically done. You can get more style, choose different journal. If you choose a different journal style, the same thing appears here. So you can see now the formatting style has changed to molecular biology reports. You can keep on writing the manuscript and while writing you can insert the citations manually and when you like to add automatic citations you can do that too while writing. So suppose here I have added a citation manually. So this paper must be downloaded or its reference file or the refman file must be downloaded. You can add this file to the Mendeley desktop.
you can see that this has been added to the library. Now click on the insert citation. This is just a revision. And similarly in the reference section, the reference has been added automatically. See, it's that easy. You can also make separate folders for separate manuscripts in the library. So that's all for today. I hope this video will help you significantly and you will save you a lot of time and efforts while avoiding the mistakes. I have made a series of videos on research and publishing topics such as how to write a research paper, a review, reviewing process, how to write an abstract, how to choose research topic, suitable journal for publishing, best software for plagiarism checking and others. Do also check out my playlist of markers, plant tissue cultures, techniques, vaccines and others.